Hi, this is Nick from Canada Weld, coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Today we're going to be talking about a really exciting new addition to the Canada Weld lineup, the Multiprocess 201 SLM. This is a 200 amp multi-process welding machine. It's got synergistic MIG welding controls. It's also dual voltage, so you can run it off a 120 or a 230 volt power source. And it's also got this really great digital display to help you set up quickly and easily in between jobs and processes. So today we're going to jump right into it, we're going to get up close, take a look at this, and I'm going to run you guys through the features. So let's go ahead and turn this beauty on. The first thing you're going to see is the Candle Weld logo, followed by the welding mode selection screen. You can see we have synchronized MIG, MIG manual, TIG, stick, or the help option, which we'll get into later on. So first let's just do a simple stick setup. So we'll select stick. Here we're going to see a little uh, diagram showing us where our electrode holder should be plugged into and where our ground clip should be plugged into for this process. It's always a good reminder. Now we're going to be asked if we're going to run some 60 series rod or 70 series rod. Uh, let's pretend we're doing 70. Now we can select 5 30 second, 1 8 or 3 30 second. So let's do some 1 8 Okay. Now, what kind of thickness are we going to be working with? You just adjust the dial here. You can see it displayed in millimeters. Um, you can also have this displayed in inches if you prefer. We'll show you guys how to switch that over later. So let's pick some quarter inch. Select, and here. Now we get the final rundown of the parameters that we've selected. So we're in stick welding mode, doing a quarter inch thick plate, a 1 8 diameter welding rod, 70 series and the machine has us set to a hundred and thirty amps now we can go up 20 to 150 or we can drop that down to 110 depending on how you like to weld some of us move a little faster some of us move a little slower and that's it you've got yourself set up for stick welding just like that so now let's take a look at some MIG select MIG we will select what material we'll be using or whether we'll be using self shield or gas shield. So today let's set up for some stainless. Here again we get this handy diagram showing us how things need to be set up to which polarity on the machine. Now what type of wire are we going to be using? 030 or 040? If you're on the high end I'd say 040. If you're using the thinner stuff 030. So let's set up for some 030. Now, how do we want the trigger to be? Do we want two-step trigger or do we want a four-step trigger? I like to use the two, so let's select that. Now here we can see the thicknesses that we can choose from. So we can go all the way down to 22 gauge, all the way up to 5 16 So let's select something in the middle. Let's do some quarter inch. Selected and boom. The machine's all set. So we're at 592 inches per minute and 25 volts. That looks pretty good to me. You can see the rundown again of all the parameters we've selected just to make sure that it's what we want before we begin. And that's it. Now you're set up to do some MIG. Now let's check out the TIG settings. So we'll go on over here to TIG, press enter. Again, our handy diagram showing us how we need to be set up. Notice it's reversed. What kind of tungsten are we going to be using? 1 16th or 3 32nd? Let's do some 3 32nd. Select. Again, with the trigger. Uh, we're not going to be using a foot pedal today, so we have a trigger on our tungsten torch. Do we want two step, four step? Let's shoot for four step today. Again, we'll be asked to select our thickness. And we can go from 18 gauge all the way to a quarter inch. Quarter inch sounds pretty heavy, so let's do some 1 8 inch. And here we go, we're at 100 amps. TIG, four step, using argon gas with a 332nd tungsten, one eighth of an inch thick steel. And we can also, if we want to, adjust our post flow over here. Okay, we shouldn't need too much. Let's put it for four seconds. And now we're ready to go. The last thing I wanna show you guys is the help menu. So let's go on over here. And here, in the help menu, you can change your units. 
this is something uh, some people appreciate because not everybody likes to work in inches and not everybody likes to work in millimeters. So we've been displaying in inches. We can set things over to millimeters over here. Let's go back into that help menu. Let's ask this machine for some help. What comes up right away? That is the contact information for our head office in Vaughan. You can see the phone number, the fax, the email, as well as our website. This is so that if you guys are having an issue, you could reach out to pretty much me directly and we can help you out right away. Something that we strive to be the best at here at Canna Weld, customer service and customer support. We're always here to help you guys out with your issues and we love solving problems, especially welding problems. So in the meantime, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next time, stay safe out there and have a lot of fun.